Hey folks, Ariel over here at Fine Earth, where today I wanted to do a quick wheelbarrow review. Um, this is mostly because I had a friend ask me what I would get if I was getting a wheelbarrow the other day, and I thought if someone had that question, probably more people do. So these are the two we've got around here, and um, I don't know. That one says Groundwork Pro Series. This one is so ancient, I have no clue who made it, but it's a style that's probably generally available from a local hardware store in your area. Anyway, I don't have any affiliation with anybody who made either of these, but these are my thoughts. I use a wheelbarrow around here almost every single day for something. Like right at the moment, I'm weeding the grass along the edge of this bed here so the strawberry runners can come down without getting choked out. Um, got that corner done. This still looks all weedy. Anyway, so I use it for hauling things like grass and weeds, to the compost, I use it for hauling mulch into the garden, I use it for hauling gravel around, I can't even think, it seems like almost every single day I use this wheelbarrow. So the main difference here, uh, well I guess this one's plastic and this one's metal. Uh, plastic is a little lighter, I think metal's a little more durable unless you're in a really humid climate and then it might rust out faster. Um, but the main difference here is this one has one wheel, it's kind of a more traditional wheelbarrow. And this one has two. And when we got this one, it seems like oh, that would be a nice idea. Wouldn't that be nice and, and stable? Um, if I was buying a wheelbarrow today, I would buy this one, hands down, no question. The two wheels, unless you have perfectly smooth ground, like a perfectly manicured lawn or a paved driveway or something like that, they each catch each bump differently. And our ground is, you know, even the smooth parts have little lumps. And they each get to throwing it like this. And especially if you have it full of something, it, um, it pitches it back and forth and tries to unload the entire load. So I would absolutely get one of these. I like the single wheel much better. Also, in a lot of ways, the slightly smaller bucket size um, is handy for most heavy things. That's all you can haul. If you're moving really light stuff around, the bigger one's fine. But um, even clay, we filled that one with gravel, like just level full, not even heaped up. And he's way stronger than me. You couldn't even move it. Um, you can you can easily overdo it by putting way too much in a in a bin that large. If I can show you how. Uh, they each are inside. I don't know what the cubic dimensions are or anything, but one it definitely holds more than the other. Um, but the single wheel is the biggest thing. It also makes it easier to go around tight corners and, and turn it into tight spots and dump it right where you want it to be. That's all just a little bit harder with this one, which dumps real well forward, but it's, it's harder to pivot it side to side, especially if it's got something in there and it's just empty. So I would buy this one if I was buying one wheelbarrow. If I was buying a second wheelbarrow, I'd probably buy one more of these. If I was buying a third wheelbarrow for some reason, then I might get one of those. Because there's one or two things it does well. It does hold a bigger volume, as long as it's you can roll it somewhere level enough that it smooth enough that it doesn't dump everything out. And it has been handy a few times for like when we moved those planters that we built down in the shop down here. We were able to just set them across this and kind of balance it and, and roll something like that. Um, and it was very nice for that. That would have been harder to do with the single wheel. But that is such a rare occasion that that's, I wouldn't buy one just for that unless I was really just getting a spare and I already had several like this. Um, also something to be aware of because I've had it happened with this one which is newer and then it happened to uh, my brother who recently bought a new one. If you buy a new one from a store today I recommend the very first thing you do is get out a screwdriver and check all the little bolts or nuts or whatever that hold it together. This one for instance, excuse me barely, has I don't know how well the camera can see this, it has like four bolts there, two there that hold the you know the bucket onto the frame. There's a couple more back here that hold the handles onto the, the little feet that it sits on. And our experience when we bought this one and didn't check it, and his experience when he bought one and didn't check it, was you're rolling along with your brand new wheelbarrow and uh, uh, one of those will fall out because they were never tightened at all. And usually by the time you realize it's fallen out, it's lost somewhere and then you gotta go find some little nut or bolt or whatever piece you've now lost <laughs> to put it back together to make it work. So since that happened twice in a row with two different brand new wheelbarrows from two different sources, if you're buying one today, it seems like it might be worth checking 
all of that hardware very first when you get it home before you do anything with it and start to lose things. Anyway, um, a wheelbarrow is a very, very handy tool and it is something that I use almost every day. Uh, you can use other kinds of little garden carts. I actually have a little cart that goes behind the, the lawn mower that I could tow around here. And do you know how often I've used that since we've had it for the last, you know, over a year? Exactly zero times because it's way too much of a pain for me to go actually start up the little motorized thing even though it might be easier to go across the middle of the lawn I find it so much easier and quieter and more peaceful this is the same reason for years I shoveled my snow by hand probably instead of using a snowblower if I can do about the same thing without much more effort and do something by hand that's quiet I'm likely to use this and this is a great old wheelbarrow it is uh, clay had it long before I was using it. I don't even know how old it is or where it came from, but it is a wonderful handy tool. And like I said, something I use almost every day around here for something. So if you are considering getting a wheelbarrow, maybe that is some helpful info on making a decision or telling you, oh, my stuff's all perfectly smooth and I never move anything heavy. So I do want the double wheeled one. That's just my thoughts. Hope you guys all have a great evening. We hope you enjoyed it. Come back next time for more adventures. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching.